This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. The Catholic Archdiocese of Nassau is hosting the Antilles Episcopal Conference this week in the capital. The official opening ceremony for the regional director's meeting of the Pontifical Mission Societies was held at the St. Francis Xavier Cathedral with a number of dignitaries in attendance. And our Jiminy De Swain was there. Under the theme, Animate and Deepen the Missionary Conscience of Every Baptized, the Antilles Episcopal Conference opened last night at St. Francis Xavier Cathedral. Among those in attendance, the nation's leader, Prime Minister Perry Christie, and His Excellencies Arthur Folks and Lady Folks, along with scores of parishioners. Catholic Archbishop of Nassau, the Most Reverend Patrick Pinder, explained that the Pontifical Mission Societies, or PMS, are the Church's chief support organizations for the more than 1,000 mission dioceses around the world. Grant from the Pontifical Mission Societies have assisted with projects both here in New Providence and throughout the family islands. For example, some of the recent grants covered repairs to the Emmaus Center and the roof of the monastery at Fox Hill. The Catholic Mission Society comes under the direct jurisdiction of the Pope and his representative, His Excellency Archbishop Nicola Girasoli, said it was important for him to be here for the regional meeting. It's important because the Mission Society, they play a vital role in the church and so I thought it was also important and denuncio the personal representative of the Pope would be here to support, to share, to encourage those who are actually actively, actively working in the, in, the, in, the, in the societies. He said the meetings will focus on re-energizing the mission societies. I have seen in our region many Christians, many faithful, they are a little bit discouraged, no? We have to encourage them to try again, to try again in their life, to try again in the faith. So this conference is on this particular subject, to give joy and hope to those for many reasons they've lost it, and of course to encourage them to evangelize. The special mass saw blessings and prayers after Archbishop Girasoli's brief interview he posed for pictures. His Excellency Archbishop Girasoli will hold a special mass at St. Joseph's Parish on this Thursday as mass celebrations continue. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News. President of the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce, Edison Sumner, says the process of developing a new domestic arbitration center has already begun. Mr. Sumner also talked about the impact this center will have on the backlog of cases in the judicial system. We see the importance of having a very vibrant mediation center in the country, and we have, have actually begun the process and are very advanced in, in the process of developing our own domestic arbitration um, center. Um, two of our members in the room today, and um, we're going to have a time to be officially announce uh, who they are and uh, announcing the new board for arbitration uh, council in the country um, that's being done through the Chamber of Commerce. We're certainly very pleased as well to um, host the London School of Mediation today, and this is one of those steps that we're working towards where we're developing the full domestic arbitration center, right, which includes the element of mediation as well. And, um, you know, we know that the process of going through court um, to, to resolve disputes and other issues um, can be very time consuming, can be very costly, and we're hoping now that through the process of first mediation and then through the advanced stages of arbitration um, and ADR that we'd be able to uh, reduce the backlog that's in court where we can take these what I consider to be in a lot of cases unnecessary matters to court that can that they can be resolved now through um, a good mediation and um, arbitration and settlement arrangements. So we're very pleased with what we're seeing happening here today. We're looking forward to the advancement of this program um, as time goes on. And very shortly, uh, the Chamber of Commerce is going to come back again with our partnership with the Ministry of Financial Services. LW Young Junior High School hosted its Honors Assembly this morning. The assembly celebrated students who made either the honor roll or the principal's list for the summer and Christmas terms of 2013. Pastor Dave Burrows was the guest speaker and he encouraged the students to work hard and have a winning attitude. The six students who made the principal's list were awarded with tablet computers donated by various sponsors. Grade 9 honor roll student Vandia Williams told us what it takes to achieve this award. 
what it takes, it's a lot of hard work and dedication. Once you put God first, anything is possible through Christ if you believe. So just study hard, focus, and have a good attitude, and you should be good to go. School's top achievers, Cassanthe Higgs and LaRoyal McPhee, also shared some advice for students seeking similar academic success. In order to obtain this award, it only attains through hard work and dedication and that don't ever quit. Keep on trying. The struggle is, is great, but you will make it in the end. And you should always encourage yourself that you will do better and don't, you know, slack off on work and just keep on going at what you believe in. Call it a chicken licking deal. KFC locations around the capital gave customers a one-day special today. And what a deal it was. A five-piece thigh and leg for $5. At the Mackey Street location, the drive through line snaked into the road as hungry customers waited to get a piece of the deal. There were cars lined all along Mackey Street and even on the sidewalk outside the location. As eager customers packed inside to get a part of the special of the day. Some customers even left with large bags full of chicken. In. Even with the deal, customers had one less location to get the deal at. Restaurants Bahamas, the parent company of KFC, unexpectedly closed the Village Road location last week Monday. 35 workers there were made redundant after KFC said it was responding to a population shift on New Providence. Another community event is being planned by the Ministry of National Security as a means of keeping peace on the streets and more young men out of prison. Director of Special Projects in the Ministry of National Security, Carlos Reed, says this weekend pastors and politicians will come together in the Fox Hill community once again for a basketball tournament with residents. It's just one of the vehicles being used to curb crime. The tournament takes place on Friday in the Pinewood community and Reed said Fox Hillians have already invited them back. The Minister of National Security now wants us to be able to take this in every community, particularly the hotspots in Nassau. So we're going down to Pinewood on the, this Friday night at 7 p.m. We have a pastor's uh, politician combined team with all of the different sides, and we're going to be playing the, uh, the residents in that particular area. Uh, coming Sunday, the Minister of National Security is holding a meeting down there uh, with the young people. They wanted to meet with the Minister to see if they could uh, uh, join the fight with crime, and that's what we're encouraging. You know, when we look at crime, crime is not a government problem, it's not a church problem, it's not a police problem. Uh, if you're a citizen of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, then it's all of our problem, and I believe you can take a collective effort to solve it. Universal Protocol, in conjunction with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, hosted its second government and corporate protocol conference under the theme, Perfecting Protocol in a Changing World. The two-day conference, which is being held at the Malia Nassau Beach Resort, seeks to educate people on the different standards of protocol, ranging from business and government protocol to foreign protocol from the United States and China. The CEO and founder of Universal Protocol, Mrs. Jennifer Brainin, explained the progress the company has made since its inception. When we started out, we started out with just training persons individually, and then we became an association. Universal Protocol is geared for the whole man. As it stands, we want persons when they go to an event, we want persons to understand to know persons, teaching persons how to learn who is who in protocol or in government. We, we don't want persons when they come, don't know where to sit, don't know which direction to go. So that's the, our training is geared towards proper guidance on pro protocol. The conference hosts a slate of speakers, including the Chinese ambassador to the Bahamas, a representative from the United States Department, and Maurice Tynes, clerk of the Bahamian Parliament. Who's back here again this year? We had Larry Durham, who is the ceremonial person for the State Department. And so this time, we decided to go beyond that and even use more of our persons here because we want persons here to know that we have persons who can teach protocol. We have come in to speak with us as Maurice Tynes. Maurice Tynes has been in the House of Assembly and in government for three decades. So Maurice Tynes is going to bring to you what is protocol when it comes to Parliament? What is protocol in the Senate? Then we have Jack, Jeff Beckles who is going to teach persons on service with a smile in protocol, and that the, the, the dress attire, the, the etiquette, the poise. He's gonna bring that forward for persons to know 
because that's the first thing. When you step out, you have to, persons have to see that you are intact. Coming up in Family Island News, looking for an escape? Well, we've got one for you. And later in sports, high school playoff action. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenitas Wayne. PDC has increased its network capacity and coverage by erecting six new cell sites in New Providence. Three sites have been installed on Samilo Butler Highway, Pinewood Gardens North, and Camichael Road. Company officials say this step has improved cell phone services in those areas. Meantime, BTC officials say additional mobile network capacity is needed to address the consistent demand. In other business news, Sky Bahamas is putting a twist to the month of love by inviting its customers to participate in its Share the Love campaign. The object is for customers to perform acts of kindness for persons in their community and submit the posts online. From buying a newspaper to opening a door for a stranger, Sky Bahamas wants to encourage everyone to share the love and earn awesome prizes in the process. The, the airline's representatives say they seek new ways to give back and with its customers' assistance, they can make February the most loving month of all. And in international business news, Time Inc. is in the process of reorganizing its magazine business. That could mean job losses in a spin-off from its parent. The New York Times reports that about 500 job cuts are expected. However, Time Inc., the publisher of Time Warner, declined comment. Now, prior to this effort, Time Inc. organized its U.S. magazines that included Time, People, Sports Illustrated, In Style, and Fortune six years ago in the three groups, Sports, style and entertainment, and lifestyles. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain.